Hi everyone, Denise here. Welcome to week six of our summer reading program. Today we are in the Southern United States and I'm really happy you're here to work with me on a craft, which is a alligator paper bag puppet. Okay, so hopefully you've already come in to get your little craft bag, which has all the ingredients for this craft and a few others as well. Okay, so let's see what we need for today's craft. We need one big piece of green construction paper, a green little craft bag, white piece of construction paper, red piece of construction paper, a white circle, two white circles and two black circles, which are gonna make up his little eyeballs. Okay, and then there is a template. It's actually three different pages with all the little alligator body parts, okay? So from home, we're gonna need a glue stick. We kind of always kind of see, seem to need a glue stick. Pencil, safety scissors, a Sharpie later on to draw on his face a little bit, and perhaps some crayons if you want to, you know, embellish him a little bit and make him a little more interesting. Totally up to you though. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so first things first, we're going to cut out our templates. Okay, so generally we're going to start cutting out his head. We'll have that piece like that, which looks like this when it's all cut out, his head. We'll just see those eyes there for later. His head, then we have his tail. So cut him all out as usual. And we have his spiky little alligator tail. Then we have his body part here, his, his tummy, and some little wavy things here, which we've used here to make him kind of look spiky and lizardy, which he is. He's a really big, big lizard. Okay, so there's those templates tummy template okay and then the last part it's a little tricky this one this is going to be the bottom part of his mouth but it's also his teeth so first we cut out the big just a big sort of semicircle almost as a template which is this and then we'll we'll cut that out and I'll show you what we'll do with that later and when you're finished cutting out the red part you'll cut out the this template and just get the teeth part which we're going to use for the for the white teeth Okay, so now we have all our templates ready to go. Uh, I think we might want to start with that mouth I told you about. Okay, so as usual, we'll just put him there and we'll trace around. He's just a big semicircle, kind of, so we'll just that'll be kind of easy. And then we'll cut it out, which will leave us with the bottom part of his mouth. Okay, so there's that. So, like I said, now we want to cut out this part only so we leave the jaggedy little crocodile alligator teeth okay so that's that we will get our white piece of paper and again as usual trace 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 and then cut it all out and we'll be left with his jaggedy little alligator teeth okay and then these again with our big green paper we'll line them all up and we'll trace them just as usual. And you can fit them on. It's a little bit of juggling around, but you can do that. And then you'll get all your pieces, okay? So you've got all his little body parts, the little spikies on the side, his spiky little tail, his little tummy, and his head, okay? So that's that. So then we take our paper bag and we're gonna start assembling him. Now first what we're gonna do is we're gonna put his teeth on his mouth. So it looks like this big red inside of his mouth and has jaggedy teeth. Okay. Now these alligators are actually found in the Florida Everglades Park. And actually they have both alligators and crocodiles. It's the only place in the world that has both American alligators and American crocodiles living together in the same spot is in southern Florida. Okay, so now we've glued a little teethies and put it on his, really what amounts to his jaw on the bottom, okay? And then we're gonna glue it underneath his little mouth because we're gonna have a little flap there, okay? So we can just sort of glue that a little bit. And 
quite frankly, you know what, we could call this an alligator or we could call it a crocodile. I think whatever you like better. I think that's what you should do. Okay, and then we're gonna put his little tummy. And the difference is, there's a couple of differences. The crocodile has a sort of pointier snout and the alligator has a more uh, broader, rounded snout. And also the crocodile is a saltwater animal. He can live in the, the ocean or ocean kind of water. And the alligator is a freshwater reptile. He's only in freshwater rivers and lakes that are um, inland. Okay, so now we're gonna put his, doo -doo -doo -doo. his little head, I think. Well, you know what, we should put his eyes on first, I think. So we'll put the whites of his eyes kind of on these little circly parts, so you know kind of where they go. Boop. And this. Like that. And then we'll put the little black part of his eyes, the pupils of his eyes. Okay. Boop. And you can put them kind of however you like them, however you think they look good. You can make them cross-eyed if you want. Okay. His little eyes there. Okay, and I think on the back of our puppet we'll put his tail now. Let's put him off to the side so he has a fun little spiky tail to, to look at there. Okay, and we'll put that on the back side of this little. Doop, doop, doop. Same with these little spikies if you want to put them on. They're not super big, but we can put them on. Uh, no, we have them on here. We got them on. Yeah. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, lots of glue. And again, you can always use white glue. If that's all you have at home, just use white glue. It's not, doesn't matter at all which one you use. They're all the same. Okay, and then more. It's funny, this uh, Everglades National Park in Southern Florida, I've been there before, it's a lot of fun. It has uh, the place, maybe you've seen them, the big air boats. So it's a boat that, it's a regular boat, but then has a big, huge, huge, huge fan at the back. And the fan blows the boat across the water. And they're kind of a, a lot of fun. They go super fast and takes you through all those kind of marshy lands there where you can see the alligators and, and crocodiles. So that's kind of fun. Okay, so last little piece here. I'm gonna put his head on. Like that. You might want a little more glue, but I think that's good for now. And then the last little piece, you can see that I did on him. I made him a little, his little nose pieces, okay? Let's move you over just a little bit. And then we just kind of do it like that and like that. You just do them whatever, however you want them, and you can do his little nostrils kind of like that. Okay? Yeah, that's pretty good. They kind of look like little eyes with eyebrows. So there you have it. Here's our little crocodile alligator puppet. And like I said, if you have some crayons and you want to, you can just go over and make his little tummy the way you know it shows on the thing. You can put some little scaly kind of things on him if you want. You know, just kind of have fun with it. Do whatever you like. And there you go. Okay, so that's him. And of course, we always have a few books for you to come take a look at at the library if you want to. We have this one, which is called Alligators. Lots of fun pictures. This one's, a, that's called Fearsome Alligators. Eee, that sounds scary. And then this one, that's the truth about crocodiles. So we have some alligators and some crocodiles. So lots of fun books for you to learn more about alligators and crocodiles at our library. And I really hope to see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.